welcome back guys so in this video i want to show you how to install and dual boot manjaro based on gnome so first visit this website and you will find three versions of manjaro so three different desktop and we're going to try and install the gnome version so i'm going to download that so just hit the download button and the download will start and I will highly advise you to use an external download manager to get faster download speeds. So once the ISO file is downloaded, we need to install this software called from this website. And once you have downloaded this, we need to unzip it. So we'll use this software to make a bootable USB. But this one is much easier than the Rufus. I already made a dedicated video so once you have unzipped it just open the exe, exe file you have inside and it will show you the usb you have uh, plugged in now we need to find the partition scheme of our system so go to the search option and type in partition open up this program Here on disk 0, we can just right click on 0 and right click and under the volume tab, you can see your partition. Also make sure you have a partition made for your OS 40-50 GB above 20 GB. Once your partition is set from the settings, you can just start the, uh, click the install and it will install the software on your USB. It will be formatted and you will see it is so much easier now to uh, make use the bootable USB you can have multiple ISOs in one USB you can also use the Rufus if you are more if you prefer that this word I just find it more easy so I have four versions of Manjaro downloaded so you can just copy and paste it in the USB and you don't need to make a separate bootable usb for each os so simply just copy and paste it and you're done So once it's paste, you can see in the it will call the USB as Ventoy, and you have all your ISO file inside. Now we need to restart into BIOS to access the ISO files, and just click on your BIOS key and select the boot device options and select your connected USB drive. you will see this uh, window with all your OS and ISO files we're going to select the uh, Manjaro GNOME so you can select any OS but we are going to install GNOME here you have to boot with the uh, open source drivers it's more stable or you can try with the proprietary one as well i'm going to use the open source for this one it will take some time and do some settings and configurations Now you have the installer window this is the manjaro it's quite different from other desktop we have seen so we need to click on the install manjaro icon and the installer window should come up let's click on the launch installer 
and it will detect your system just click on next then select your country and time now I need to select the keyboard layout here we need to select replace a partition because we need to dual boot it with windows so select replace a partition and from the down just select your partition on which you want to install this OS then click on next create your uh, username and password Now it will show everything that you have selected confirm and then click on install the, the installation will begin and it's going to take a lot of time So once it's done, it's going to ask you to restart and when it will restart, you will see this bootloader that will ask you to boot into Manjaro or uh, Windows. So that way we can select which OS we want to boot into. So we're going to select Manjaro. Now we, here we are in the Linux Manjaro GNOME and now we can go ahead and connect to the Wi-Fi and if you go to the settings I've installed OBS Studio and now I'm recording the screen you can see it shows the version and my chipset and my graphics which is the integrated and i5 6 gen and also you can see the Wi-Fi is working and the drop down menu is really handy and quite good looking as well the overall ui design is very round edges and very minimalistic as well and I, so far i'm liking it a lot no version is known to be like a middle of the plasma and between the uh, like it's not full on feature but also very minimalistic as well you can see all the different wallpapers and uh, just click on it and it changes it so you get the customization feature as well as the stability with the gnome and if you want more themes and everything you can go for the plasma i will cover that as well in later video you have the usual linux options um, the sensitivity for mouse and display and everything the settings are pretty much similar to other linux desktop This is the app drawer and we have a lot of pre-installed apps so everything that you need is already installed this is the different layout for home screen right now we are in kind of a mac os looking you can also switch to the windows looking or the other kind of variants right now it's in the windows version and this one's not bad as uh, bad at all the mac os the macOS style has more minimal look to it and I prefer it better than the rest. You can go ahead and try and see which suits your test. In the setting you have these extra options you can tinker around with. 
the icons and everything you have a lot of apps as well uh, different one for even the uh, customization features this is the add or remove software this works as a marketplace for apps you have all these apps that are pre-installed and you can update them from here you can see the blender and gnu you can check for updates from here you also have the different programs into categories audio video communication and there are a lot of variety to choose from even though the pre-installed one does the work but you can install audacity and obs studio from this um, store as well for multitasking you can see on the drawer you have this extra section which has all the apps that are currently running and you can see there are a variety of apps from the system tools um, these are very handy for I think the developers um, I don't intend to use them and I don't have much knowledge about it but good to have it I think there is an coding app and from development apps you have these different fonts as well so you can install it all these apps are available in the store and you can uninstall them or install them as you need you have this option if you can install from the quantum theme so you can download the theme from online and just uh, import it using this software so a lot of variety of apps so you have this vmware as well so if you want a virtual uh, PC inside your Linux you can also do that I've tried it and it works this is the terminal so you can install apps from terminal as well so overall a good variety of apps and really great and the performance also really nice I'm quite liking the looks of it so yeah that was it for this video and I'll see you in the next one